Try to be nice and brush your hair and look what happens. It's pronounced Leela! Last night I went and saw the film The Big Short about the 2008 mortgage crisis in the States and the lead up to it and what actually caused it to happen. Essentially, bankers got super greedy and decided that their bonuses weren't big enough and they needed more money and they found a way to bundle mortgages together and sell that debt off as an asset, claim the mortgages were really good when actually they were really bad and whoops, the whole thing came tumbling down. Entire economies were ruined because a bunch of rich dudes decided they weren't quite rich enough. There's that little internal anxiety sound in our brains that depending on what's happening can be at different pitches. Recently mine's kind of been at just this low like uh, sort of sound. Things are generally going okay but uh, don't get too hopeful. Driving home in the car last night it was at a very unhappy because wow. Ah. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Existential Terror. The fact that millions of lives and entire economies could be destroyed just because a handful of people decided that they wanted the next model of sports car. Meanwhile, I'm here working three jobs to pay off my student loan. It's terrifying to think that, that ah, that's the kind of world we live in and we have relatively little control over that. Ah. It's very easy to be faced with something like that and freak out and not know how to handle it and not know what to do with that information because my god that is terrifying to know that there is such a horrible situation out there that you have no control over at all. <sighs> Renting forever is looking better and better every day. On the radio this morning they were talking about the doomsday clock how it's been at three minutes to midnight they addressed it today and announced where the minute hand is at and it hasn't moved it's still at three minutes to midnight there was a quote I haven't memorized so it, you'll have to forgive me but the guys basically said that it hasn't moved because there are still little spots of light in an otherwise great big murky darkness that is the world and I think maybe that is what needs to be focused on is those tiny pinpricks of light. We all need to just get our torches and find those little pinpricks and shine a light on them so they're not little pinpricks anymore. Those are a somewhat heavy-handed metaphor there. Did you like that? Those are the kind of metaphors I do. With all these big, horrible things happening, the only thing to do when confronted with that is find the little good things. Give everything you have to them. Things like the Project for Awesome, where thousands of people got together to donate money, to give to other people. People were just giving money, not because they stood to gain anything from it, but just because they knew that people were going to do good things with their money. How cool is that? In Flint, Michigan at the moment, there is a huge problem with the water because awesome decision makers who make awesome decisions decided not to do what they should have done with the water and took it from the Flint River, which haha <laughs> lol is full of lead. So now everyone is getting lead poisoning. But companies that would normally only look after their best interests are donating tens of thousands of water bottles and famous rich people who again normally only look after their best interests are donating money so that kids can go to school and keep learning and have fresh water and be terrified of lead poisoning. So in the midst of all this horrible stuff that is happening, there are still these little pinpricks of light and goodness. I think if more of us focus on those than on the horribleness, maybe there'll be a little more light. Maybe. We can hope. Let's be optimists. <laughs> Tomorrow I am speaking at a conference, holy crap. So hopefully there will be some footage from that. I've uh, not actually asked whether I'm allowed to film, but I'm just gonna. You don't invite a YouTuber to a conference and not expect them to film, right? Hopefully I will have a whole bunch of learning and awesome stuff to share with you guys next week. I might also just be in sensory overload from all of the cool stuff. See what happens. See you next week, bye! Look how long my arms look with this lens. Oh my god, I love my new phone. <laughs>